Hi there, thank you for joining me today. Um, in this video I'm going to show you basically how I transferred an image to a rock that I'm going to paint and embellish with more paint. Um, but basically I found a really great method and that is how to transfer an image using freezer paper. I have a video that I'll link below or somewhere in the description about how to print onto freezer paper from your computer. Um, but I'm not going to go over that here in this video because it would be too long. I want to keep it short and to the point and basically just explain what I've done so far and that is I have painted my rock with a coat of white paint, acrylic paint, and it's underneath these papers. This is a piece of, um, of computer paper that I attached freezer paper to before I printed it out. Under here is the freezer paper itself and I'm going to just show you that I printed an image of a bird and, and um, flowers and I basically just took the picture, I used some Mod Podge or Mod Podge and I went over it, the picture itself with a paintbrush. I just put the Mod Podge right over the picture and while it was wet I turned it upside down onto my rock um, and let it dry into the, the rock itself into the white paint which had already dried. Now you can also um, put another coat of white paint on the rock and, and while the Mod Podge with the picture on top of the picture is wet also just push it into there while both are wet. Um, you don't have to do that. I don't think it's necessary, but I don't really think it would hurt. Um, it might even be helpful. I could do another video on that. But I basically, once it dried, I burnished it with my fingers just by rubbing it lightly. And when I peeled the freezer paper off, I got a great image. And I'm going to show you uh, the rest of the peeling process here and hopefully it came out really good. I'm um, really happy with it. Um, so pull it off slowly. Now also I will say I wet the freezer paper a few times and and let it dry in between each of the um, times that I wet it. Wow, I am really impressed with this method. And so now this gives me a really nice um, image to work off of and embellish with my own style. I will probably add some flowers around the outside and I'm going to go over these colors and make them darker with my um, paint pens and outline them and just get a really beautiful image on my rock. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I do a lot of videos on image transfer and rock painting and other crafts. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Take care.